yes hello everyone welcome to an exam for me tech video tutorial now guys for today's episode i'm going to show you how to change the keyboard for uh, this acer um, laptop the model number it is the aspire e15 now in terms of replacing the keyboard guys it is a bit um, tedious than other laptops or older version meaning that you have to remove the entire top section here so in order for you to remove this entire top section guys you'd have to remove all the screws from around the bottom there but first ensure that you remove the battery because <coughs> you don't want to do any form of um, hardware work on your laptop while the battery is still um, connected to the motherboard that can short circuit the motherboard cause um, permanent damage to a uh, hardware or the motherboard itself so i've gone ahead and removed all screws and i have also gone ahead and by using um, this plastic um, <coughs> thing tool here to actually prise open um, to ensure that i get it up from the board that is the top section so here go guys it is already up now the cables that attach the keyboard and the touchpad um, power button also you have to ensure that you release them because you don't want to damage those cables so you have three cables to release guys so these are the three cables you have to be careful um, when releasing those three cables so once you have removed the keyboard there or this entire top section the next thing is to separate the keyboard from this entire section here guys so let's see how we now we're gonna actually um, separate it yes guys so in order for you to um, replace the keyboard there is a entire section on the back there it is made from um, some form of metals with um, several screws you have to ensure that I get rid of those um, screws and then you're gonna actually um, get it off so you're gonna get it up like that as you can see guys the ribbon actually goes through it there and then now we try to get the keyboard out so I really long and tedious process Alright guys, so here we go. So I'm gonna get the new keyboard in now. So ensure that it is fitted in properly. Um, these silver strips get them back down over now as for the ribbon you want to get it through that section there So ensure that the back section there again guys it is secured over the keyboard itself and to ensure that it is secure guys 
the screws I'm gonna put them back in place yes guys so I would have just complete in terms of ensuring that all the screws are back in so again guys this is not the keyboard itself it is a metallic plate that covers the keyboard and um, this serve as some form of um, protection let's say for example water is spilled onto the keyboard then you just lose the keyboard rather than losing all of the internal components so it's a good idea in terms of having this waterproof metallic arm shield beneath um, the keyboard so I'm gonna go ahead and actually put back this cover section onto the laptop Yes, guys, so I'm gonna get it um, reinstalled now. So ensure that you have um, these connections or these cables reconnected. now um, in connecting these cables guys it can be really tedious that one seems secured and now finally the touch pad also seems um, secured so what I need to do now I need to power it up and ensure that all three cables were properly installed so the battery So it is pouring up so the power cable is attached properly so what I need is to get it up to ensure that the touchpad right so the touchpad is attached properly so, and the keyboard is attached so that's how you replace the keyboard for this Acer Aspire E15 um, laptop so guys I'm gonna ensure that all the screws around the back now and they are properly um, fitted in so once again guys if you're new to my channel please remember to click on the subscription button leave your comments in the comment section of the video and of course share the video so once again guys and uh, thanks everyone Femitech is out of here